Yo, welcome back. It is a Monday. It's the very first day of the Easter holidays for the kids, so I'm off with them while we're the half is at work. But we've had a parcel turn up and I wanted to open it and show it and tell you guys if it's any good because I've seen it for years, but I've never owned one. I'm now across in my new office, which if you go back to years ago, was the original bedroom I was in for my office. And then we've got changed around about six times with the kids. So if you're new to it, I'm halfway through doing it. I managed to paint it yesterday. I ran out of wall tile, so we've only got like half of it soundproof because the kids took the rest of them. So that's where we're at. But I want to put some shelves up. I want to put a few pictures up and tell you about what they're all about. Okay, first things first. I had a bit of a mooch inside, but I've not opened the boxes. We have got, so that there is the attachment for the extractors, hoovers and all that sort of stuff for the Bosch drills. But I'll run through that. Brand new GBH 18 volt dash 24 C, which we already have one. I did ask for another one, so I've got one because Adam never lets me use my own drill. This is the thing I've been after for a very, very long time. And I actually did buy one of these off Amazon years ago and I bought the wrong one and I never ended up using it. So this is a Hoover attachment that attaches the bottom of the FCS that I presume you could do with depth gauge that collects all the dust when you're doing 5.5 or, or bigger drill bits uh, that then get sucked into here or you can get the attachment which is the first box that attaches to an extractor. I'm just gonna have a whiz around because I've not got places for anything. I've got, that's, doesn't matter. I'm gonna try and shift all this so we can open it on here and do a bit better. Right, first one. Sorry, the door was just let the uh, pretzel upstairs. It's the thing with Bosch stuff, it comes with, it has every language I think ever written and probably Latin in this. I can guarantee you that 99.99999% of the population who ever buys one of the drills doesn't even open this. It's like half a tree in there and they've run every single box. Just saying, just send a link to a website with it all on, save the trees. Beautiful, there we go. If you've watched motor videos, you would have seen this. This is the depth gauge that you get with it. We don't really use them. I realistically probably should have just taught Adam about these as well. So if you're drilling out 25 mil back boxes, 35 mil back boxes, you can set the de depth. So when we're stitch drilling, which is our usual preferred method of chasing out back boxes, this comes in really handy. And I used to use these years ago, but after a while, Christ, I've been doing it 12, 13 years. You just, no, you just get the feel for it. But to new people learning that, this is a great way of not drilling too deep or drilling into other people's houses through terrace walls and all that sort of stuff. Next we've got this one. So this is the one I'm really, really interested in. And I didn't know they were sending me the Hoover attachment. I'm not actually sure I've even got the extractor slash Hoover on me. So in the box, not as bad. And this, pretty sure Adam's mom's got something like this. And you got two adapters. The old ones I've seen before had a separate battery that you slotted in. You just notice the little bits here on the inside, the little terminations. And then on the side of the new drill, you have a little slot there, with some terminations. So I presume we've got to take our guide off for this. And that just, oh God, it feels like a Nerf gun, you know, when you put all the attachments on it. Oh, and you can still, if you wanted to, put your gauge back on. Right, so by doing this as well, we've got the gauge back on. This will allow you to do dustless drilling. These are the end bits, which will pop on in a little minute, but it utilizes the battery of the drill directly into the, uh, Hoover extractor attachment. And this is the bit that will collect. That's your filter. That's where your debris will be kept. Put that in there. A little reload action. That's nice. And then to detach it, there's a little button on the side. Pull that up. So this is the first time I've ever used it, so bear with me, but uh, I'm learning as I go. But that's pretty nifty. Let's get an end in. So there comes with two ends, which is that one and that one. Right, so reading the, uh, the tree here, one is for an interchangeable chuck and one is for a fixed chuck. So by the mean the chuck is the end of it. So that's your chuck. This is a fixed one. So the whole chuck doesn't come off. Our SDS is our bigger version, which is twice the size of this. You can actually change the chucks out and put like a normal percussion attachment on the end so you can tighten it up with your hand. So one we want here is a fixed one, which is the little one. Number two is a little one. So we can slot that in. And then by the looks of this, that just bada bing, bada boom. And it's got some I should have done that. So it's got brushes in there that collects the dust as it goes down, sucks through here, sucks down there, sucks into here, into the chamber. So let me get a drill bit. I've got my other one because obviously I've been fixing all this together. What I was going to do for you is drill one hole in a minute without this on, sacrifice the carpet and the walls to see what it's like doing it in a finished room, drilling a couple of 5.5 mil holes with a red plug to fix some shelve into the wall, then do the same test again with over attachment with no protection on the floor at all to see what it looks like. So this is the one I've been using, because like I say, I actually have one of these, but Adam, my apprentice, has stolen it and he won't let me use it ever. 
So I've been using the little tiny one that I won a very long time ago. But we've got a 5-5 five five bit that we're going to steal out of it. If we're going to change the bits out, just feed that in, feed that round, push that in place. I presume so if we want to start it, there must be some form of locking. So if I want my drill bit, I want to see my drill bit to start with, so I know where I'm drilling. There's a bit here, so I presume if we pull this back to expose the end of the tip. So we've got the tip showing, and then we've got an adjuster here for how deep we want it. So you can actually get rid of the handle, so this could actually be a depth gauge as well of how far we want it to drill. So you can set this here, 25 mil, 35 mil. So we're doing stitch box drilling. We can easily just go round and round, bang, bang, bang. Less dust. You can see the hose below where it pulls through. I'm actually really excited to see this. And my face is itchy. So I've got loads of these old four amp ones lying around, but I know I'll get told off by Bosch if I don't go and get a pro core one. So back in a second. Right, eight amp, pro core. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what I'm gonna do on here is put a whiteboard up, which you can just see here with all the YouTube stuff and all of the sponsored stuff and I have going on every now and then. I'm not very well organized. I need to stay track and realize what I've got to do and when. So hence the reason the whiteboard's going up. I was going to do two shelves at some point, which I'm going to do, but my PS5, all my Macs and screens, everything all in the way. I'm trying to film it over there. It's going to be a bit awkward. So we'll get this up. We'll get this marked out. And what I'll do is well, I'll put the whiteboard on the floor so you can see exactly, because I've got gray carpet, so you won't be able to see the dust as much. Uh, see what's collected off the first two, take a picture of it, and then I'll drill the second two with the Hoover attachment on and see what the difference is like. First of all, I'm going to do it without the attachment, so straight on the drill. One high, one low, one high, one low. I do two high and low without two high and low with. We've got a secondary camera so we can see the dust in real time. So as you can see on the picture you can see now, we've got a considerable amount, especially if this is on people's carpet, if this is on white carpet especially, which I've been there and done before, and it's not fun. Same thing now with the hoover attachment. Awesome. Up top first. I must say, three specks of dust, but I can't tell you if that's just fell out of the existing holes and gone down. That is really good. So I did the thing. This side is without the hoover. This side is with the hoover. Obviously, some of you may be going, well, Nick, that's blatantly obvious it's gonna work a lot better with him or with a hoover than without one. I completely agree, but first time real world actually using it, I couldn't tell you if it was any good or not. Like that, that's pretty good. So I actually have got that hoover, which I need to drill another hole because I'm going to put that picture up. If you guys know in and around my area, uh, Canuck Chase, uh, well, I used to go biking. I've still got my bike hanging up in the unit. I got a picture of that for Father's Day. It's actually uh, the dog and the monkey run all on there together. So I'm going to find a hole, drill it, and we'll plug in the other attachment, which will be this one. This is what it's more like. If we just have something like this. By the looks of it, this can be fitted on a few different types which is there, I don't know you can see that. All right, let's see if this actually fits. You've got your depth gauge there, so we'd set that one. You know, so we're only gonna go in a certain amount. It's the same thing with that, so depth gauge, we just kicked it onto the side so you can see it's not square. On there, depth gauge, we brought it down a little bit, so when we push that through, it's gonna go to that far, which is what we want for a 5.5 plug. Actually, I'll do it a little bit deeper. So this is the adapter, this is a Bosch adapter that you get with most things, which is the Hoover, the extractors, that sort of malarkey. That slots into there. But that's that done. So all you would do is use it normally as a drill. Obviously you've got to press the Hoover on at the same time when you're using it. Right, that's my frame, Canic Chase, the monkey and the dog. Let's give this a go. So I'm very impressed, very, very impressed. 
Uh, it's a bit more faffy because you've got the Hoover attached to it. But yeah, no, I like it, Max. Decent. It's going to save us to create less mess and dust. We still put our mats down and whatnot, but we know full well occasionally if we need to do a hole here and there, like say if we're putting a shelf or putting a light or whatever, that you could use this and utilize it, and it would be mint. But we're interested to see how blocked the fills get, how quickly it fills up, how long we have to empty it for uh, in the future. But we'll obviously look more and more into that. Up, 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 up. Zero dust other than the bit that I actively made on purpose. Which we've tidied up, it's all clean. Delicious. Bit of spray. Bada bing, bada boom. Gonna try and make this office a bit more homely rather than this at the moment. It's obviously a bit, bit needs a bit of character. But I'll put the stuff for the links below for that. But I'm so impressed. Genuinely really, really impressed. And it takes a lot to impress me nowadays. Simple and easy to use, easy to empty, easy to put together. What more do you want? So I'll put the link down below for it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you can. That'd be great. See you in the next one.